Hi guys welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will tackle a common problem that many iPhone users encounter when their iPhone gets stuck or won't restore in recovery mode. But you know, what we do best is help you solve your problems. So today we will provide 4 methods for you to solve the problem easily and quickly. So let's get started. When your screen is stuck in recovery mode and won't restore, you must be full of questions. Why? There are many reasons for this situation, such as software corruption, hardware issues, connection problems, insufficient storage etc. But no matter what the reason is, the 4 methods I introduced today can help you solve it with a high probability. Please keep watching. Force restarting an iPhone is a simple effective way to resolve various software-related issues. It does not erase any data or settings on the device. For iPhone 8 and later models, please operate according to my video. For other models, please refer to the link in the video description. First, quickly press and release the volume up button. Then quickly press and release the volume down button. Then press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears on the screen. Keep holding the side button until you see the Apple logo. Of course, this method sometimes fails. If your iPhone is still not working properly after restarting, then please check method 2. Firstly, ensure you have the latest version of iTunes installed on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to your computer, hit Trust Now, and enter your device passcode. Then iTunes will pop up a window that tells you your iPhone needs to be restored or updated. Click Updated to prevent data loss. Then iTunes will start to download the firmware. After it is completed, your iPhone will be fixed successfully. But iTunes errors may also cause iPhone not to be restored. And I know many friends are not used to using iTunes to solve problems. If you want to change to an easier method, the one-click repair tool, any fix will be the best choice. With just one click, you can roll out that annoying recovery mode in seconds. Here in the third method, please download and launch any fix. You can check the download link in the video description. Then you need to connect your iPhone to the computer via a USB cable. Then click exit recovery mode now. Your iPhone will successfully exit recovery mode in just a few seconds. Here in the fourth method, launch any fix and connect your iPhone to the computer via a USB cable. Then. Choose the option that says Repair Now. You can see that there are different types of questions listed here. You need to find the corresponding options according to your question. Then click on Start Now on the following screen to start repairing your iPhone. As you can see, AnyFix innovatively offers three repair modes for you to choose based on how severe your problem is. But it's important to note that only standard mode will not delete your device data. You can try to repair in standard mode first. If it doesn't work, you can also choose the other two modes. Now I choose advanced repair mode as the case. Download the firmware for your iPhone. It may take a few minutes, then hit Fix Now. When your iPhone is fixed and is free of any errors, you will see the following on your screen, and the iPhone won't restore problem will be solved. So thanks for watching the video and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment if you have any query.